But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brothers asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. I hope my voice is coming good and clear. Let me know please if you have any difficulty. Today our topic is about the Hindu guy. Actually I don't want to keep it the topic but this is like the start with. The Hindu guy according to the BBC he ordered food brother and sister and he refused to take away the delivery, because it is delivered by a Muslim. Can you believe it, brothers and sisters? He refused the delivery because it's coming from a Muslim. Bigotry, racism, hatred and you know in the same time is it muslim they do the same every day so there's one guy he is a hindu he did not take the little delivery from a muslim but don't the muslim they say it have to be halal food what halal food mean they are putting even halal sticker even on shoes of even on t-shirt and then you will see the silly comment of the Muhammadan. They say to the Hindu guy, well, if you are afraid to eat from a Muslim hand, well, then you better eat at home. Why you don't say that yourself? They have a phobia from the pork. Ah, I heard the news that the British government is going to forbid selling pork. Why? Because they discover that uh, pigs are eating garbage. <laughs> what the heck is that? But all animals they eat there, you know. Muslim they eat goats. Eat go goat. Give goat. Give 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 your plastic bag full of garbage to the goat. The goat will eat it all. They will eat the plastic with it. Goats eat plastic. Give them anything, they will eat it. So the hypocrisy of this world is beyond imagination. As long as this is not right, why the BBC don't make a program? about the Quran and the Muslim cursing non-Muslims, which mean Hindus, Jewish, Christians, atheists, call them Najis every day. So it's a bigotry. Look at the comment here. Hmm. He cancel order on Zamot. They allocated uh, a non-Hindu rider for my food. They said they cannot change the rider. This is the guy who canceled the order. All right, he is a Hindu guy. And now you will see the answer of, of people. 
the owner of the restaurant, he support opposing this guy. But let us see what it says here. If you ask me who I am, I will say I am an Indian, a son of a father, a businessman, Hindu. Me, my being Hindu is the only one aspect of my identity. Yet, word over identity is being defined by narrow confines of religion at the cost of all others. Hmm. Here it says, food does not have religion. It is a religion. And here you see the hypocrisy of the, the or the stupid who posted, this, posted, posted the, the, the restaurant, the owner of the restaurant. If food does not have religion, why you put halal in your food? <laughs> uh, so, you know, like this is uh, uh, very funny and very stupid. What about we go to the Quran, a book which is insulting every human being, or a, a, a book of bigotry, calling non-Muslims najis. Not only their food is najis, they are najis. Can a Muslim eat a, a, a Hindu food? Can he? Muhammad in the beginning, he forbid the Muslims from eating the food of the Christians. But because he's a mentally ill person, he noticed that Muslims do not know how to cook. So I said, you know what the heck? We do not know how to cook. Christians, Jews, they knew how to cook. So eat their food. But that did not change anything that Muhammad bigotry and hatred made him go so far in his discrimination for non-Muslims to the point he called them filthy animals. Actually, there's a video of this filthy scumbag, uh, the ketchup boy, when, when our brother, and he is a, an African Christian, he tried to hold the Quran, he said to him, you don't, cannot touch it, you are najis. I said to this dummy, I have the Quran in my house, I touch it, I sit on it, I don't want to tell you what I do with it. But this is how bigotry, filthy, this religion is. The Quran says that non-Muslims, all of them, they are najis. Now, if you ask the Muslims, what does that mean? You know, what, what najis mean? What exactly mean? This is najison. Najison. You can, they are helping you to pronounce it. Impure. That's a lie. Najis is not only impure, because impure, I mean, the word impure is really stupid, because there's anything anyway is a pure. What what does that mean? If we want to go with the word pure, what does that mean? I mean, even water, even if there's no bacteria, no germs, the water itself, you know, contain other you know minerals. What does pure mean exactly? This is a false translation. Najis mean filthy, which nothing can wash. Nothing can make it clean. This is not because they don't take shower. This is not because they smell bad. This is not because they are not, uh, uh, you know, uh, having a good hygiene. No, this is only because they are not Muslims. Islam is a bigotry. Islam is racism. Islam is discrimination. Islam is a problem. It's not the Hindu guy. Who did not want to eat from the hand of a Muslim because he have a hand, a mouth, the same as the Muslim, they have a mouth, like Ramadan. The problem in this world that journalism is not journalism, it's just a bunch of idiots. They don't dare to speak against Muslims because there's a lot of Muslims in, inside the UK. And those Hindus inside UK, they are very, you know, somehow submissive. You know, they let it go. They don't fight back. They don't expose them. If we ask any Muslim, and not only that, Muhammad, he says they are impure and kill them. Therefore, what we do, we kill them. So they're upset from the guy not to take a delivery. 
when a Hindu woman, she made a statement about Muhammad that he married a child wife. The Muslim went so angry around the world. Qatar want to cut relationship with India. Saudi Arabia will send a letter of warning upset everybody. But this guy, yes, he married a child wife. What's wrong? Did, he, did she lie? She's quoting your stupid donkey book. And then the coward prime minister of India, this guy, they call him a hero. I call him a potato. He fired those two people who made this, the claim or they made the statement about Muhammad, which is a true statement. Here we go. The hadith says, Muhammad, he married a child. She is six years old. And the one who reported that is Aisha. Should we cancel Aisha too? Should we fire her? Aisha, she said that the prophet, he effed her at the age of six and he was molesting her between the age of six and nine. Anyone will not focus with me in the chat, I will block you. And Muslim man, I'm going to block you now. I have no time for kids here. I don't come here for your comedy and your stupidity. I have a topic, if you don't respect the topic, if you don't listen, if you don't want to listen, if you want to talk about something else, get lost. So this coward Moody, he fired those two people for what? What they did exactly? The Muslim, they curse you in their mosque every day. They make fun of you as a Hindu every day. They say Hindus are pagan every day. And then the women, just because she said Muhammad, he married a child, you fire her from your party, your son of Muta. Isn't it this is what the truth? Isn't it what the Muslim them say themselves? Isn't it this is their book? Isn't it this is Sahih al-Bukhari? Isn't it the Quran in the chapter of a divorce that says you can divorce children? Divorcing children? So the problem we have, we have a coward, he is the Prime Minister of India. We have people who don't dare to open their mouth because everybody is, you know, is afraid to be labeled. And the truth have to be buried. But not for us. We are here to expose you, all of you together. And by the way, I'm not taking side with the Hindus or the Muslims. For me, the Hinduism is just another cult. It's just another stupid cult. Actually, I saw a channel all the videos attacking Christianity, so maybe I should make a channel just for the Hindu, so we can have fun. And I saw the woman, she was saying, the Abrahamic faith, based on fear in Hinduism, we don't have that. Well, isn't you the one who threats somebody, if you don't behave, Allah will make you a cockroach, or your God, whatever his name, Krishna, Shishna, Shishkaba. So this is not fear? If you don't have a good karma, God will make you, will curse you, and make you insect, or, uh, you know? So you, Abrahamic faith, you have your, your religion is based on fear, and there is only one way. Is it you who says that only uh, Hinduism is the right? So, you see, uh, people, they can say, we are not going to cancel them. You, okay, you are a Hindu, go and speak against me, no problem. I will respond to you. But we should fight against the one who tried to cancel the other one mouth. The one is right. People listen. People judge, people they choose. That is what humanity is. So if you want to condemn somebody for not receiving delivery from a Muslim, what about we condemn Islamic world for having a sign in every highway in Saudi Arabia, it says Muslims only. Can a Hindu make a delivery to Mecca or Medina? Huh? What will happen if a Hindu, he decides to make delivery of a Zumba, Zuma food, whatever it's called, to Saudi Arabia, and he took the highway, which it says Muslims only. Muslims only in the highway, and they speak Islam is religion of... Islam don't discriminate you, my friend. Why? Oh, because this is a holy land, and you are filthy. You cannot step on it. The whole cities, the whole territory is a holy land, and you are a rat. Muslims only.
roads for Muslims and roads for non-Muslims? BBC, you know, BBC, by the way, was funded for a century from the beginning, actually, by the Saudi Arabia government. And then one day the BBC, they made a mistake. They made a program and they invited somebody who opposed the royal family. So the Saudi, they said, you know what? We are paying you, all of you, your salary from our pocket. And look at the scam back of this country government. How in the world the BBC, which is a government agency, is paid the salary of all employees paid by the Saudi government. Aren't you ashamed? Why are you, are you short of money? Is the, is the British government is short of money? They are out of fund? Yes, they are out of fund. They don't have money. They have just palaces for the Lord and for uh, Her Majesty, the Princess Diana, who stepped with everybody in town, including the cook, the driver, and a Muslim. The Lord, the Crown Prince. And this is why Al Jazeera TV opened, actually, because when uh, the Saudi Arabia, the Saudi, they decided to stop funding the BBC as a penalty, the BBC dismissed, especially the Arabic channel, dismissed totally. And then the Jazeera TV opened, the Prince of Qatar, he is another scam back in this world, terrorist. He made a decision right away. Hire all those who used to work in the BBC because they are very popular already. And let us open a TV station, it's called Al Jazeera. And this is how Al Jazeera started. And Al Jazeera is number one supporter station for Al Qaeda, and after that for ISIS. And they have a branch in every European country. Osama bin Laden refused to make any interview with any TV station except Al Jazeera TV. Did you ask yourself why? <laughs> So here we say the truth, and here we, we don't care what people say. Learn how to be truthful. Don't fear them to label you. Actually, you are labeled when you don't say the truth. You are labeled as a donkey because anyone can ride you. UK does not have money anymore. Yeah, I believe you, brother. Guys, UK does not have money anymore. Yeah, I am convinced now. UK GDP. Two point seven zero eight trillion. Hmm. They don't have money. Saudi Arabia GDP is 700 billion. So the Saudi who have way less money and income than you, they can they will pay for the BBC. And you are the one who have a GB, GDP by the trillions you don't have. I believe you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, yeah, you know, last time we went stream, we showed you how the Queen of England taking pictures with Aga Khan, Billy Clinton taking pictures with Aga Khan. You know, this is those people they worship money. They don't have God, and most them they use those scum back to promote and to insert themselves into your country. To be traded through the system. They knew that you are leaders. They can be bought. Actually, there's a verse in the Quran about that. Muhammad, he says, uh, supposedly Allah, but we know that this is the scam of Muhammad. He said, Well, Mu'allafa Qulubahum. Who is those? The one who you can buy their heart. You can buy somebody hard money. You know your heart is where is your where is your treasure is. Is your treasure with God? If your treasure 
with God, your heart will be with God. If your treasure is with the, with money, well, your heart will be with your money. If you hide your money in a place, your heart will be there. When a group of Arab, who they are very aggressive, they refuse to convert to Islam. Because Islam is a stupid religion. Muhammad, he could not kill them. He could not fight them. He don't dare to fight them. So what we do? As a gang leader, he have to come with a solution. And the solution is, we buy their hearts. Those are gang. Those are criminals. Very tough criminals. They are more criminals than me, Muhammad. Well, they love money. I will give them the money. And here it says, and when you see this verse, you think this is about giving charity. Sadaqat, sadaqat, if you ask a Muslim, what's sadaqat? He says, you give charity. You know, you give money to help others. Read with me carefully. Al-Masakin, uh, Masakin supposedly the poor. And those employed to collect the fund and for to attract heart of those who have been inclined toward Islam. So Islam is a scam, and because this religion have no dignity, they are willing to pay you, even if they knew you don't believe in Muhammad for a second. Even if you don't believe, we will pay you money, convert to Islam, and then that's it. How much you want? It's in the front of your eyes. Chapter 9, verse number 60. And that is telling you that in Islam, it doesn't matter really if you are a true believer or not. Actually, the Quran makes it so clear that most of people who converted to Islam, they don't believe in Islam, but because of fear, they converted. The Quran speaks clearly about the Arab, saying that the Arab, they believe not. The Arab, the Bedouin, they said, you know, we are Muslims. Muhammad, he knew that they are not Muslims. What Muslims? Nobody, nobody believe. So he said to them, Allah told me to say to you, don't say, the better when they say we believe. Chapter 49, verse number 14. We believe, say, you believe not. Rather say we surrender. Surrender is Islam, by the way, not submission. You will see a bunch of idiots including some they claim to be Christians, supposedly, and they have knowledge in Islam, they keep saying submission, submission, submission. Islam have nothing to do with submission. Submission is something you do willingly. Willingly. Not unwillingly. Can a person leave Islam? No, we kill him. Do Muhammad take an army and he wage war unless you convert to Islam? Chapter 9, verse number 29 says, Fight them, kill them, until they convert or they pay jizya. Both they have to be unwillingly, either converting or paying the jizya. Uh, read SG8W. He left Islam an hour ago. You what? Uh, why you left Islam an hour ago? A few hours ago. Okay. Uh, I want to ask you why the Bible is it true, and if the Bible is really corrupted as the Muslim claim, can I call you? Because my parents know I am losing faith. Okay, give me, my friend, just a few minutes to finish this, and we will, we will take your call. My Skype is not open yet. Uh, as you see, those are people who took shahada, and now they are Muslim. They say, we believe. Muhammad, he said to them, Allah told me to tell you, you don't believe, don't say we believe, say we surrender. 
Say, say we became Muslims. قولوا أسلمنا. قل لم تؤمنوا ولكن قولوا أسلمنا. Say you did not believe, but say we became Muslims. We we become Muslims, which means we surrender. So Islam means surrender. So any fool you hear him around keeps saying submission, submission, including those Christians. And I use the word fool, by the way. I'm not trying to insult, but this is foolish. Don't open your mouth before you know what you are talking about. Imagine I want to go and teach you English, and I have tons of grammar mistakes. That will be silly, isn't it? This is how I see it. Imagine Christian Prince, he go to Oxford University to teach a student English. That would be hilarious. And this is how I see those who claim that they knew Islam from the Muslims and from the Christians. They keep making poo, poo The Muslim, he lie, we know it says, and the Christian who speak against Islam supposedly, he hear what the Muslims say and he repeat it. You idiot. You keep saying that the Muslims, they lie. So how you take what they say for granted? Go check it out. You go on your channel and you say that Muslims, they keep lying. And then we ask you, what does that mean? You say submission. Where do you get this from? As you see, we surrender. And by the way, we change translation. You will find the word submission. That's why it's very important to know Arabic. And we are here to share with you what they will not tell you. I will open my Skype. Let us see the scholar. He says he left Islam a few hours ago. I don't know why he left Islam. If I am you, I will not leave it. I mean, don't you like versions? I like versions. Especially if they are really hot and come with spice. I mean, have you ever heard of religion? <laughs> if you love this religion, brother, Allah will make you effing non-stop. Like, what the heck is that? It is an effing religion. Brother, how much I will if in heaven, brother, unlimited. Even the prophet says your male member will never go limp. Will never go limp. That is good deal. Okay, my friend, I am uh, I am in Skype now. Just text me. Just tell me it is you. All right. And I will take you. You know, Islam really makes sense. I mean, look, you know, I mean, just God, he is working now. He is making for you versions. And he, it, it take him 1,000 years to soften the skin of every female. Look like those females made it from, I mean, even if they are made it from rocks. These days they have a machine. They can soften the rock in two minutes. They can soften real rock, not concrete only. They can cut concrete like cutting a, a, a piece of cheese. 1,000 year. Send me a text message in Skype, my friend. Tell me what's your name there. Until now, I see nothing from you. And if you are a Christian, don't send me messages in Skype saying I want to talk to you. Why you want to talk to me? And if you have a question, don't send it to me in Skype. Christian Prince, can you tell us your schedule in YouTube? Can't you post this comment in the in, in YouTube? Uh, so where is this guy who want to talk to me? Here we go. We open Skype. We stop what we are doing just for him, and he is not here. Hmm. Maybe it was not true request. When we speak about bigotry. There is nobody in the world teach bigotry as Muhammad. Muhammad, he teach Muslims are the, are the best of mankind. And even he ordered them to go and bring everybody in a chain around his neck. Islam, the target is either you convert or we will make you a sex slave. And if you don't believe me, I don't say anything without showing the proof and the reference. 
You don't need to believe me. I don't care if you believe me or not. Don't believe me. It's in the front of your eyes. Who cares if you believe or not? We show it to you, we give it to you, and you still you want to be a donkey. This is your business. This is the most important book for the Muhammadan after the stupid Quran. The book which says the sun set in murky water and the sperm coming from the backbone of the man and women have a sperm coming from their ribs. And now why we understand why people like to, 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 uh, to eat ribs. He said he cannot call me because his parents are suspicious and they would kick him out of the house. Oh, okay. My friend, first of all, I don't care if you believe that the Bible is true or not. This is your business. I'm not here to beg you to believe that the Bible is true. And there is a very simple reason for that. The Lord, he says, no canal will open for you. So if you are a sincere person, you do not need someone like me to prove it to you. You go study, search, read. You see, in Christianity, we encourage you to read. Not the opposite, like in Islam, chapter 5, verse 101 says, ask no questions. In Christianity, ask questions. Search the book, read the book, and find the truth. And the truth will set you free. This is what our Lord Jesus said. So it's your duty, not my duty, to find the way of your salvation. If Christianity is false, don't go for it. You will not add anything to us. We are the majority of mankind, but that will not make any difference. There's many, uh, a lot of us just numbers. They don't even know what Christ is, is about. So people, they are mistakenly, they think that here I am, I have, I have a duty to explain Christianity for them. I am not here to do so. Because in order to explain something to you, you should be willing to study it. And if you are not willing, I'm wasting my time. A Muslim will come here and will ask me every day, the same Muslims, <laughs> how you believe in the Trinity? And we answer them every day. The same people, they come a second day, they say, ha, 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 how you? Yeah. They are not listening. They are just coming to make more party. So if you are a person who is searching for a truth, the truth itself, which is my Lord, will set you free, not Christian Prince. Who is the truth? That is the Messiah. So if you are looking for a truth, you will find it. I believe that the one who is looking for something, he will find it. You see, people, they give themselves excuses why they convert to Christianity or Islam or anything. But it can be not a true reason. A person, he convert to Islam because simply he, there's, there's, I, I met a person, he converted to Islam just because he want to make his family angry. Hey, look, what the most uh, thing his family they reject? What is the most thing they will make them really upset? Islam. He converted to Islam. And then after that, his relationship became fine with his family. He left Islam. Then his relationship became bad again with, Islam, with, with his family. He converted to Islam. <laughs> so he used Islam as a way of a pressure to make them do as he will or he wish. Mental. So you can convert to a religion for a mental reason. Or maybe you are smart, like you see somebody, you convert to Islam, you will make good money. Look at this guy, Yusuf State. He said before Islam, his wife, she used to call him useless. He said that. Why? Because he cannot even pay the rent. Useless. After Islam, the guy, he have nice car, he have a big house. He, he, you know, five stars hotels, his wife, she go everywhere with him. He became a, a star. <coughs> this is the guy who said that uh, uh, the Catholic was founded in the time of who? I forgot the video. <laughs> Was found was founded three hundred years before Christ. <laughs> <coughs> mm. 
my throat's still hurting. <coughs> Sorry, I had to mute the microphone. I had to cough hard. <clears throat> anyway. Yeah, Alexander, Alexander the Great, the founder of the Catholic Church. I mean, those people, they lie. And he said, look, go, go, go to their website. Don't listen to me. Don't believe me. Go to the Catholic website and see it. And this is telling you who, what kind of the quality of those from the West who convert to Islam. You have to be really suffering from mental illness to believe that there is a God. If you believe in him, pray for him, it will make your penis endless. What if I like it to be short? Do we have like size options? When Muhammad, he says endless, did he even think about it? Why size doesn't matter in Islam? And what kind of a sexual God this God is? When this God, he promised me women with big boobs. What if I like them small? Why we need boobs in the size of a cow? Look at the translation. Every Muslim, he gives you different translation. Hilali Khan, look what it says. Uh, 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 mature breasted. Mature breasted. Let us see this guy, Itani. Splendid spice will matches. What? What the heck? This guy, he took the word uh, breast all totally off. A top. Full bosomed. I like it full bosomed. You know what? You don't want to go to heaven praying to Allah 24 hours a day, uh, my five times a day, which is very hypocrite because you are repeating the same thing. And then you go there and they are not full bosomed. Full bosomed, brother. Do you like half cup, full cup? This is God talking? He will give you a chair and a cocker and, 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 and uh, you will be reclining in a pillow? And you have a full cup? What? Full cup? And how generous you are. Of wine? That's deep. That's very deep. Yeah, it says, it says equal age. You know? You know, the, the word atrob, atrob. You know, the word atrob means dust. Atrob mean dirt, dirt. So a trab, which mean if you put them next to each other, they are the same. So what the stupid Allah is saying to you? He will give you women, all of them, they look the same. They have the same face, the same look, the same height, the same hair, the same eyes. All of them, and all of them, they have the same name, Hur. And here you see the stupidity. If all of them, they look exactly the same. So what's the point of having many of them? Imagine you go to a dating website and all women and men in the dating website, they have the same profile, the same picture. I go there, hmm, I will text this woman. No, no, I will text, I will send a message to this woman. They look the same. They have the same age, the same profile, the same details, the same name, the same height, the same tall, the same weight, the same word they say. Barbies. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing like this? All of them, they look the same. And by the way, all Muslim men, by the way, they will look the same too. Allah will make all Muslim men look like Joseph. And they are in the age of Jesus, 33 years old. And they will be three meters tall in the height of Adam. Yeah, in case you do not know, Adam was very tall. You know? If I go right now, and just to show you what Muslim, I mean, Islam is just a stupid cult. Let me show you. <clears throat> I want to stay long because uh, my voice is not, you know, my, my, my throat is not helping me. Brother and sister, let me introduce for you the grave of our prophet Noah. He looked like a sandwich from the subway. 
and the Muslim, they have tons of a, of a, of a grave for the same person. You will find the same, they will find this guy, he have graves all over. Nawa in Baka'a Bikshar. This is his grave, brother. Subway sandwich. Who is this guy? This is the same guy. Grave. Look, 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 brother. Look at this one. I mean, the, the, brother, <laughs> you can take a trip, you can take a walk just to see the grave of this person. Tombs of a prophets of Islam. Allahu Akbar, Allah. What about we open it and we see the bones? You bunch of liars. Isn't it going to be amazing that Muhammad, he said the truth, that the first man, he was 30 meters, 30, 60 meters tall? Open it. As long as we have that. This is Noah. This is the guy after, after uh, uh, the son of uh, Adam. Open it. This is the first generations. As long as we have their graves. Look, this is a prophet Saleh. This is a prophet Saleh. This is a prophet Adam. We found the grave of Adam. Look, they have even the grave of Adam. Hazarat Adam. They must from be from Pakistan. Hazarat Adam. Aski Kobur O Mubarak Garden Islamic Picture Islam. So this is the grave of a prophet Adam. We found him. <laughs> ah, and they go and they pray on the grave. And mashallah, brother. Alhamdulillah, brother. Uh, what the heck is that? This is Sufi grave, you joke? Ah, uh, guys, this guy, he said, this is Sufi grave, you joke. So why you count the Muslims with Sufi with them? If we ask you, is Turkey Muslim? You say yes. All Turkey is Sufi. If we ask you, is the Shishan are Muslims? You say yes. All Shishan is Sufi. What about Egypt? So you see the hypocrisy? Christian Prince, you joke. Those are Sufi, okay? Those are Sufi. Was your prophet Sufi too when he said that Adam was like this? Read and laugh. Look like your prophet Adam was Sufi too. Hmm? Brother, we discovered that your prophet is a Sufi too. His toll is 60 span. So did you ask yourself why they are making the grave long? Your prophet said that Prophet Adam was 60 span tall. Is your prophet Sufi? Sufis are not Muslim period. I think you are the one who have your period now. So why you count everybody in the world as a Muslim when we ask you how many they are? This is why we laugh at you. When you're Muslim, you say, no, we are 1.6 billion. Okay, is a Shia Muslim? No. Okay, then we delete 700 million. Is the Sufi Muslims? No. Okay, we delete 400 million. Who is left? <laughs> is the Druze Muslims? No. Okay, we delete uh, 4 or 5 million. Is the Ahmadiyya Muslims? Oh, no. Okay, we delete like 30 whatever million. Hello? Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes, I hear you. Go ahead. I hear you. Hello? Hello? All right. <laughs> Let me try to call you again. <laughs> uh, 
and don't open your camera you don't know how to call make a skype call just click at the audio don't call at the don't click at the video all right hello i hear you go ahead i hear you hello oh boy i hear you hello uh check your audio check your speaker audio Uh, so as you see, Islam is just a stupid cult. You know, like, as long as Muslims, they speak too much about sexual male member. So if Adam, he was 60 span tall, how long his penis was? Huh? Sixty span just him. What is the size of his shoes? Actually, the Muslim they claim that Adam he land down in Sri Lanka, brother. Where in Sri Lanka? That's why I say to you, the roots of Islam is coming from the Hindus. That's why they themselves they believe that Adam himself, he landed in Sri Lanka. He's a, from Sri Lanka, Adam himself from Sri Lanka. And the funny Adam, he went all the way, and what I want to let us find Adam in Sri Lanka. From amongst those. Now if we look at Adam alayhi salam, he came down onto the earth. He was sent to the earth. There's a question. Where did he land? There we are. He, was, he wasn't just thrown so that suddenly he landed, meaning he dropped. But Allah placed him on the earth. This we find in the narration of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa where he says that Adam alayhi salam nazala fil hind. He came down in what is known as the indo pak subcontinent. Precisely Sri Lanka. I told you. Adam, he land down in the earth in Sri Lanka. And then Adam, he went to do Hajj 40 times to Mecca. And in case you do not know, Sri Lanka is an island. It's not connected to the land. How in the world Adam was able to go all the way to Mecca? And not only that, do you know where Eve she landed? Brother? Rashid, 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 let me, let me block you. You are just a stupid, being a kid. At least, don't repeat the same stupid thing. Donkey, like your prophet. Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. And where Eve was landing, brother? There is a mount there known as Adam's Peak. Let us go to Adam Peak. Adam Peak. <laughs> Sri Lanka. The Muslims they found that the, Hindu, the, the, the the Buddhist they have a temple and they have what it's looked like a footprint of somebody. And now they claim that this is belong to them. They want to steal it from the Hindus, from the Buddhist. And they claim that this is the footstep of Adam, brother. Adam Peak. And here I ask myself the question to Mufti Mink, because he is so smart and he's so intelligent. Why there's only one foot print? Do you think that Adam, he lost his other foot during the Taliban war, brother? Hmm? So Adam, brother, he walked in Sri Lanka with one foot, like why, why he was a king rock? One foot only? What happened to the second foot? Maybe Adam, he lost his shoe? One foot. He walked all over that land. There's only one foot, Brent. One foot, brother. 
I think Adam at that time, he was a bird and then evolution happened. So he landed there with one foot and then he fly again. <laughs> Superstition, fiction, dummy, garbage religion. What happened? And where Eve landed? If you go there, you will find it green and beautiful as though it is not from this earth, but it is. I'm not trying to imply anything. Uh, he have to say that, otherwise they will kill him. But I'm just saying it is so beautiful, maybe because the Sri Lankans have kept it that way. Ah, uh, okay. But it's a beautiful place. It is, it is said that there is a possibility that that is the place. Ah, we are not sure, but they are sure that Adam, he landed in Sri Lanka. But it's possible that this is the place. Possible. This is the, he, he down, he landed. Look, look, look. he landed. Mm. We don't know for certain that that spot is the place, but roughly there. Mm. What about Hawa? Where did she come down? In Jidda. Where is Jidda? Jidda is in the Arabian Peninsula. So guys, Adam, Allah, he sent him to Sri Lanka. Eve, Allah, he sent her to Saudi Arabia. <laughs> what a fun man. I mean, that would be good if Allah, he sent the mother-in-law of Adam to Saudi Arabia and he sent Adam and his wife alone to Sri Lanka. But the wife now in Jeddah, but there was no Jeddah at that time. Jeddah? Where Muhammad he got this information from? And why Allah, he sent Adam to Sri Lanka and he sent Eve to Jeddah and how they met again? He sent her a message with WhatsApp, like WhatsApp, WhatsApp. Hey, my wife, where you landed? Uh, honey, I did land here. Let me give you this crab, Sam. There's a rock next to me, and there's a rock behind me, and the rest is dust. And really, it's a stinky place. Uh, this is, must be Saudi Arabia. As long as you say it's stinky, I know the direction. I'm coming to you. Don't move from your place. Honey, do you want me to stay in this stinky place? Well, you have to. Otherwise, how I can find you? I'm coming. How long is it going to take you, honey? I'm not very far. I'm in Sri Lanka. It's going to take me several years. You know, if I did not, like, I have to swim across the ocean. And I have, I will come to you anyway. Don't worry. I found a box, matchbox. I'm going to sit inside it because I'm very short. I'm 60 span tall. And I'm going to come to you. Okay? I will rescue you, my honey. Adam, I really miss you. Please. Please, please, please. I have no electricity. I have no water. I have. So Eve, she was in Jeddah. And Adam was in Sri Lanka. I mean, you Muslims, when you lie, no box can fit your lie. Where we can put this lie? Where we can push it? I will go to Sri Lanka map. Brother, this is Sri Lanka. It's an island, huge island. It's not connected to the land. You see here, there's a space here. It is the sea, long distance. How? What the heck? And then this poor Adam, he have to cross the galaxy. And how he knew the direction? I mean, look, this is Saudi Arabia. Let me zoom out. I don't know if you can see it perfectly. So brother Adam, please be upon him. He landed a brother here. In Sri Lanka. Our sister uh, Noah, based upon her, she landed in Jeddah here. And now, brother Adam, he have to come to her. It's not far, by the way. I mean, you might think it's far, but you know, it's not. Especially if you are a Muslim. Every distance is so clear. Muhammad, he went to the seven heaven galaxy. He saw his God. He did not see his God. He did not even talk to him. He saw the fault of his God. He came back to earth in less than a few hours. And yet he claimed 
that the angels take them 1,000 years just to go. He himself, he went there in a few hours and he came back, which means round the trip. So brother Adam, he swim and he cross here in the ocean, which is very, you know, uh, I can do that. I remember once I crossed the Atlantic. At that time, they don't call it Atl Atlantic, you know, they call it Atlantic after me, actually, you know, because I was using like, uh, there is uh, the material, it's called Atlantic, you know, I don't know if you know about it. We are the Arab, we created that uh, material. It's called Atlantic Labuna. So uh, I used the Atlantic Labu uh, Labuna, and, uh, you know, this is why we sing for it, like, and at Lake Labuna, 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 you know, like, this is grand grandsons of me. So I crossed the, uh, you know, and then I said to myself, I lost my way. This is a true story, by the way, Sayyid Bukhari, you know, I found the Jassasa in my way. And then I found the Antichrist in the island and the women at Jassasa, her hair is so long. And then the Antichrist was flying between the earth and the ground, but he was chained with the chain. True story. So Adam, he went all the way from here with that which is a very true story. He crossed all the way in India here. At that time, there's no Pakistan. You know, Pakistan, this is new creation of the British intelligence. And then he go all the way here, he go to Persia. And then he go to Iraq. And then he go to Saudi Arabia. And then he arrive finally, and he saw Eve. On the beach. She was taking suntan. When he arrived to Sri Lanka, I'm uh, sorry, Adam, when he arrived to Saudi Arabia, he found his wife in the city which everybody loved everybody. Alhamdulillah. According to a study made by the Saudi, you can go watch the video. We made it before. Everybody love everybody. <laughs> so uh, the brother Adam, he arrived there and he found his wife in Jeddah. And then he took his wife and he went to Mecca. And there was 40,000 angel waiting for him in the reception oh boy true story and now the muslims they will speak about logic so a muslim will say to you christian brands i challenge you to explain to me the trinity it's not logical <laughs> i mean this is a religion of logic you know what you can say we have to admit I mean, look at it from the beginning to the end. It's logical. Everything is logical. Adam came in Sri Lanka. Adam, uh, Eve is in, in 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 Saudi Arabia, and he's landed. You know, did, did you hear the guy saying landed? Hey, Adam was feeling you know, like from the heaven. In the Bible, the heaven uh, Adam was not really in heaven. He was a garden, and the garden is in the ground in the earth. It was already in the ground. According to Islam, it's in heaven. Once I was debating a Muslim from Lebanon, he's a sheikh. The coward after I debated him, and everybody everybody started telling him, you're stupid, you are screaming to sheikh, even the Muslim. He claimed that the heaven in Islam was not in the sky. And I got him busted from the Quran. Anyway, he went and he reported my video to YouTube. And as usual, YouTube, you know, side with the Muhammadan, you know, and they took it. Uh, it was an Arabic debate. Oh boy. My throat is fine. I need to stop drinking coffee, but I cannot. I love coffee. It hurts more when I drink coffee. You know, that's why. It's okay. Anyway, uh, as you see, this is a very stupid cult. And it's a, it's a kind of a comedy. It's kind of an insult for every human being to believe in such a garbage. The second you see somebody says to you, I want to be a Muslim, the question is, do you really believe that your penis will be endless? Is that what God is about? Why he will make it endless? And why all those promises about sex? Why it's very sexual? 
Can this God made our heaven better without even those things? You see, a human being actually, he is in trouble because of his needs, not the opposite. When you have needs, you are in trouble. You are hungry, you need to eat. If you don't eat, you die. You are sick, you need medicine. When it's cold, you need heat. When it's hot, you need cold. When you are tired, you need sleep. It's your need who make you exposed to everything bad. So if God want to make heaven and he want to free us from what we are living through, then he should give us the opposite of what we have here. To be free, this is why Jesus said, he and she, they will be the same as angels. They ask him, this woman, she will marry who? Who is going to be her husband? She married many husbands. Who is going to be her husband? The answer was very clear. He and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels, which means they will be free from all needs. I saw somebody in the comments saying that angels in Christianity, they eat. That's stupid to say. That is very shallow understanding of the Bible. When the Bible speaks about God, he sent the food to the Jews, the food of the angels. This is, doesn't mean the angels, they are eating. But this is because it's coming from the sky. This is why we have the Bible says it clearly in many places that angels are a spirit. And when the second you say spirit, it's mean they are a spirit. If an angel come and appear to a person in a physical being, that doesn't mean he is a physical being. This is temporarily. He is able to do so. But angels are a spirit. They don't eat. They don't sleep. They are free. Uh, anyway, I think we have enough for today. And I'm not going to keep you long. It is Saturday. And uh, I just wanted to share the hypocrisy of this media these days. Where if you say, if you, if you are a Muslim, you say, this is haram, this is halal, this is, you know, all the phobia of the Muslim they have, they have phobia from the pork, phobia from the cross, phobia from the music, phobia from the kuffar, phobia from the Jews, phobia from the Hindus, phobia from everything. And if there is a Hindu, he refused to receive delivery, brother, is guilty. The hypocrisy. Anyway, um, uh, we tried to take this call from this guy, Zafar, whatever his name, but he cannot hear me, and we are done. Uh, so I might come back later at night, if I could, but if not, maybe tomorrow, God is willing. Have we a good uh, time together today? And if you are a person who like big boobs, I say to you that Allah, he promised you big boobs, but he did not tell us, by the way, if they are round, because the word in Arabic is kawaib. And kawaib is the same as kaaba. Kaaba means cube, in case you do not know what kawaib means. I am not sure really if I would like to have women with the cube breast. Hmm. Cube. I saw somebody like an uh, engineer, like they put the tomato, tomato, they made the tomato grow inside the cube and they made them look like a cube. Do you think it's going to be a good idea if women breasts look like a cube? Cube? Am I saying the word correctly? That will be interesting. You know, I will tell you why. Because if they look like a cube, we can put them all in one bag if you are traveling. They will not take space. If they are round, there is space always between the, like between the balls. But if they are a cube, you can, I can guarantee you that you will have your box full with no empty space. So the airline will not charge you extra. Let us see if we change the translation. If somebody will tell us the truth that it says a cube, I don't think so. This was Kawaii. Volo, 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 botos, volo, botos. What the heck? Hey guys, you will get the women have follow but of Volobotos. I like Volobotos. All all the time I like Volobotos. 
I mean, we, let us let us be real. Who of us don't like Volopoto women? Huh? Volopotos. Volo. I don't know if I'm reading. It. Let me let me give it to Google so he will uh, Google will read it for me. Let me see how what Google will say about Volopotos. I know, I know that you are making fun of the way I say it. May Allah curse you and make you a chicken. Like what happened to the guy? He made fun of the miswak. Allah make him a rat. He put a miswak in his anus after seven, eight months, brother, nine months. Uh, Allah, he made him brat night and he delivered uh, a rat. Voluptuous. Ah, volat, voluptuous. I mean, it's far away from the way I say it. I was close, by the way. We have to be honest here. I was so close like Muhammad. Voluptuous. Voluptuous. What the heck is that? You know what? I don't care. I will call it Volobatos. You like it, you don't like it, I will not change. I'm an Arab. It's a goat, even if it doesn't fly. Okay? So, deal with it. So, listen. Allah will give you a woman who is Volobatos. You can play with them. You can bounce them, boing, 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 boing. If a flood of Noah come ever, you will not worry because they are so big and they will float. The only worry I have, he did not say how many. I mean, there are two breasts or seven. I prefer more. This way we guarantee we are going to float, you know? So, nowhere it says, by the way, there are two. It just say breast. How many? You know? How are we guarantee that it is not three? Actually, there's a Muslim uh, explorer, very well known Muslim. Muslim are so proud about him. His name is Ibn Battuta. Ibn Battuta. And the Muslim, they, the guy is so amazing, brother. We are the first people who discovered the word, brother. Ibn Battuta, he never went anywhere, obviously. He claimed. Let me, why I'm typing with this uh, ink, uh, uh, blue ink. He claimed that he went to an island, brother. And all the women in that island, they have three breasts. True story. Three breasts, are you sure? I want to go to this island. I am really bored with seeing women with two breasts. Finally, we find an island, we found an island where women, they have three boobs. I don't know where the third one will be. You tell me. They have three boobs. Where the third one will be? I hope not in their head. Maybe in the ass area? Not in the back, come on. In the belly bomb. I'm not sure really. But the man, he made it so clear that women, they have three boobs. And you know, it is time for a change. Enough is enough. Boring. Two boobs for the last whatever years. We need to find this island and we need to spread this this uh, this uh, species, you know, women with three boobs, you know. And by the way, how many nails they have? I mean, because we need to worry about the nails. Is their nails long too? But uh, you know, because women, you know, you know, you know the thing. Three boobs. Yeah, it must be a true story. Uh. Somebody saying, in order of a spirit angel, we do not know if they have needs, consume food or not. Well, that's very funny of you, my friend, because why you need, how you, how even you make the assumption if the angels are a spirit? Do you know what spirit mean? Obviously, you are the same, confused like Muhammadan. When they asked Muhammad about the spirit, he said, "The spirit from the command of my God." He did not answer the, the question. Spirit, spirit is not a body and as long as you don't have body 
then you don't eat food. Because in order to eat food, which is a solid object, it had to go inside your body. So when you say we are not sure if a spirit they consume food or not, obviously you are drinking camel urine. When you eat, the food has to go inside you. This is what eating means. You swallow something, and then that thing will convert into energy, liquid, and will be distorted or destroyed from the way it is solid, will become a liquid, and the liquid then will be dissolved, etc. And then your system will suck it. Angels don't have that. So don't tell me those stupid, silly stuff. It is funny. And the funny you call yourself Holy Spirit. Because based on what you are saying now, Holy Spirit do eat too. Did you notice what you just said? Very funny. When Jesus came to this earth, he ate. Why? Because he is coming to us in the flesh and he lived between us as a full man. But the Messiah, who was not born from Mary yet, he did not need to eat. And he is not a flesh like our flesh now. That's why the Messiah was exist previously to his birth. A Muslim will say to you, where was the Trinity before Jesus was born? Isn't it Jesus says, before Abraham I am? Before Abraham, I am. So his existence have nothing to do with his birth from Mary, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Uh, where Muhammad he got all this info from? He did not get any info. He had people around him taking telling stories. Those are stories. The Persian, if you read the region of the Zar Zaradisht. Uh, even Hindus, they have some, something close because, you know, Zaradisht and Hinduism, they are very connected. Actually, a, a big, big impact of the Hindu belief is coming from Persia. So the, the Zaradisht, the believers in, the, in this religion, uh, they believe that there's a higher creature, noble, and there's lower creature. The higher one... <clears throat> They will live in a place where there's a beautiful woman. They are like air flying around you. They are so beautiful. So Muhammad, he met with Salman al-Farisi. Salman al-Farisi, he learned about many religions, including his own, which is the Persian religion. And he carried all the stories he have to Muhammad. Muhammad, he moved and he sat between the Jews. So he learned tons of stories from the Jews. Muhammad, he struggled around, as Muslim they claim, he was working in trade for his wife Khadija. He went all to Syria, etc., and he learned about the Sabian. The Sabian was very big uh, uh, faith at that time, not like now, hardly you can hear of somebody, he's a Sabian. This is why, actually, the biggest temple in Yemen, it was a Sabian temple, and this is why the Sabian, they hate in their books, there's a book, it's called the Kenza Rabba. Kenza Rabba is a book of the Sabian. Uh, in their books, the Sabian, they claim that uh, the God of the Jews, the God of the Jews, he is Satan. Why? Because he ordered those Jews to do circumcision for themselves. He ordered who? He ordered the Jews to circumcise themselves. And actually, if you read the, the book of Kenza Rabba, Kenza means treasure, Rabba is mean uh, Lord, God. Uh, this is the book of Kenza Rabba. This book have uh, have two two part, Kenza Rabba right and Kenza Rabba left. So when you open it, you open it from the middle. 
or you can open it from the in the, in the printing. So this is Kenza Rabba right. This is Kenza Rabba right. I don't know, it's not functioning. I'm trying to open it. For some reason, okay, now it's working. If you read it actually, you will notice that it is the same as the Quran. And you will notice that Muhammad was trying to make Quran like the book of Kenza Rabba. The same language, the people of Kenza Rabba, the, the Sabian, you might see here something look like a cross. This is supposedly, they claim, uh, this is a symbolic for John the Baptist. The, the Sabian, they claim that John the Baptist, he don't believe in the Messiah. He was a Sabian, which is absolutely false. If you read the first page in the book of Kenza Rabba, it says Tawheed. Do you see it? At Tawheed. The first page. The, the pages we flip for you, this is like a you know introduction. The first page is at Tawheed. And here you know where Islam is coming from. In the name of Al Hayy Al Azim, Al Hayy is one of the names of Allah. Let me try to zoom in so we can read it better. هو الحي العظيم البصير القدير العليم العزيز الحكيم هو الأزل القديم الغريب عن أكوان النور الغني من أكوان النور هو القول والسمع والبصر والشفاء والظفر والقوة والثبات هو الحي العظيم مسرة القلب وغفران الخطايا You read it, anyone who speak Arabic you will notice that this is really the Quran If I say القدير العليم العزيز الحكيم We will find in the Quran Al-Hayy al -azim. we will find in the Quran, etc. Maybe we should make a special video about this religion. He cannot be seen, and he have no limit. He have no partner with his authority. The Quran. But this is not Quran. This is the book of the Sabian, which has existed long, long, long before Islam. As Samir al Mujib, if you type the word Samir al Mujib in the Quran, you will find it. He is a Khalid. He don't die, etc. I mean, it's a Quran. Uh, let us see here. Maybe we should make a video, a special video about this religion. Is this Mahdi? What Mahdi, my friend? Focus me, focus with me. This is a Sabi and religion. This is exists thousands of years before Muhammad. Focus, focus. Mahdi. Anyway. Uh... Any question before we finish for today? Ramadan is from the Sabian. Ablution is from the Sabian. Washing your hand and your elbow and when you do those things, ablution, it's from the Sabian. You can go watch a video actually about the Sabian ablution. You will see it's exactly the same. Their ear, their nose, their elbow, their hand, their feet, exactly the same. And this is where Muhammad, he stole his religion from. Some from the Christians, some from the Jews, some from the Hindus, some from the Sabian, some from the Buddhist, some from every some. Muhammad is a three-some prophet. You need a link for the book? I don't have a link, I have the book. But I can search it for you.
But it's in Arabic if you don't speak Arabic, what the point? Oh. Let us see. Okay. All right, if you open this page here, you have to go all the way down. All the way down. Uh, and try them. All the way down in the page. Don't click at the images. The images, you can, uh, you can see the book in the, in, the, in the website. If you want to download the book, then you have to go all the way down in the end. <coughs> You will see an arrow. Let me show you. <laughs> Here. You can download. This one for Mac, Mac uh, for Mac, the, the, the lower one for Mac, the upper one for Windows. So when you download, depend on your computer. Remember, the higher one, the higher bottom here is for Windows. The lower one is for Mac. Beach. Anyway, I hope we have a good time. And uh, uh, share the video, download it. Tell the truth, and the truth will set you free. And if you have any Muslim, he claimed that he is a sheikh, he have knowledge. Tell him we have a challenge for you. Friendly challenge. There's a guy, he take call from everybody. Can you call him and get him busted? As long you Muslims, you claim that Islam is a true, and you are sure. Let us see how sure you are. So, if you meet, especially if you are a Muslim, by the way, <clears throat> invite the best you have. The best, we don't want somebody, he is not expert with kickboxing. The best of the best. Because I heard Muslims saying many times here in the chat that I debate lame, they man Muslims. You know, the weak Muslims. My friend, I say all of you are weak, including your prophet. If your prophet sit in the front of me in two seconds, he will be a joke of everybody. If you don't believe me, bring the best you have. Don't complain. Stop, stop complaining. Stop crying. Do something about it. Go to your sheikhs. Say, who of you dare? All those in YouTube, those cowards, they don't dare. Mimi Hijab, he says he want to debate Christian Prince. I called him, he hang up on me. He don't dare even to debate me. And the rest, all of them, we tell him face-to-face the -face debate. They are making excuses not to debate me, that's all. We know why this is face-to-face -face thing. Because they knew it's not going to happen. It's just a way to escape the embarrassment. This is the truth, and the truth will set you free. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you, and until we see you soon again, Christ is Lord. Muhammad is a fraud. We prove it every day. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun.
that the standard narrative has holes in it. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>